has been following up on these cleanup efforts throughout the day in Monroe County. Sophie, what are you learning for us today? Well, Josh, I'm on uh, St. Anthony Road in Ottawa Lake right now, just across from the gas station where that diesel leak is coming from. And this is the creek where people first discovered the diesel. They're currently pumping water out of the creek, trying to make sure that diesel doesn't get anywhere else. They've also built a dam back here again to make sure no more diesel gets out into the environment. But the thing is, we do know that some of that diesel has has gotten out into 10 Mile Creek and we have no idea how much. An underground tank at this pilot gas station near US 23 is a source of a diesel leak. The Environmental Protection Agency says they'll spend weeks, if not months, cleaning up. This was a major release. Thousands of gallons of diesel were released out, out of the tanks. You know, it migrated into the creek. The EPA isn't the only agency tackling the spill. Michigan's Department of Environment, Great Lakes and Energy, and a contractor hired by Pilot are also pitching in. A lot of government resources are coming in to try to address this spill. The Monroe County Health Department says municipal water sources have not been contaminated by the spill, but it's not yet known whether the leak could impact well water. That's why the department is offering free testing for people who use well water and live near the creek. It's kind of crazy and it's affecting so many people. Corinne Appling lives near 10 Mile Creek and is considering getting her water tested. She noticed the gas about a week ago. And I looked and I did see some gas in there, but I didn't really think it was anything like I th kind of thought, OK, someone probably just poured gas. No, you know, hopefully it'll go away. And then all of a sudden we see this big thing on Facebook that said it was a big oil leak. If you're interested in getting your water tested, there is a phone number at 13abc.com that you can call. As for Pilot, the company sent us a statement saying, quote, once made aware of the situation, we immediately contacted the local authorities. The issue was contained quickly and remains under control. Now, this is a developing story, a lot that we're still learning about the impact that this is going to have on the environment. So we're going to continue reporting on this and we'll be back with updates as the story continues to develop. Josh. All right, Sophie Bates.